Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Rice of the IMF reporting to you from our spring meetings here in Washington. Well, we've had an extraordinary day and I want to report to you that just a short time ago the member countries of the IMF came together and decided to increase the funds resources by over 430 billion dollars. That's the headline news out of the meetings today. It's good news because first we know the global recovery remains fragile and these resources will help to build a much stronger global safety net. They should help us collectively to put the crisis behind us. The G20 is committed to take the necessary actions to secure global financial security. This is the result of a broad international cooperative effort that includes a significant number of countries. The resources will be made available for the whole membership of the IMF are not earmarked for any particular region. Secondly, they reflect the spirit of multilateralism. We saw 188 countries coming together to support the IMF, to support the global safety net in this way. Thirdly, it's a vote of confidence by the IMF membership in the fund's central role in ensuring global stability. What this does, in fact, is effectively double the IMF's lending power and enables the institution to work with our membership to help resist and defend against further crises. We all agreed it was absolutely essential to have the firewall built up at this time. It's not too early to be building up the firewall, not a day too early. And having the firewall in place gives us the confidence to go about these real solutions, which are multi-year in nature. It's going to be a long journey. There are pitfalls, there will be setbacks, and if we didn't have this firewall in place, we wouldn't have the confidence to be able to embark wholeheartedly on these reforms. A week ago, coming into these meetings, Christine Lagarde had called for a Washington moment. She had called for the membership to come together in this way. Well, it actually looks like the Washington moment happened today. I'm finishing with really a sense of accomplishment and a sense of a collective drive from the international community to actually tackle the right issues at the root and to have the necessary tools in the toolbox. As Minister Tarman said, the resources are important, they're critical, but so are countries' reform efforts and these need to continue and be implemented strongly. There were many other events going on at these spring meetings today. Perhaps the most notable was a panel debate with Charlie Rose of PBS on the global economy where there's an interesting discussion on the global crisis, the steps that need to be taken to tackle uh, that crisis, and the panelists also discuss the more than 430 billion approved. Tomorrow, the highlight event is the meeting of the IMFC, the International Monetary and Financial Committee of the IMF. Please stay tuned. I look forward to reporting on that and on other events tomorrow. See you then.